Okay, my very favorite. AP Calculus AB, the natural logarithmic function differentiation. So what we're asked to do here is to find the derivative of this function. And if you're looking at this and saying, well, I would, why can't I just use the quotient rule? Or, or why can't I change this around and use the product rule? Like if you could bring this, this, up, this piece up right here as a negative exponent, and you could turn this into product rule, I guess. And my simple answer to your question is you can. Um, but if you know the, the properties of logarithms, this can get a little bit easier. So this is what I'm going to do. First, I'll start with this idea that we already know this here, that, that d dx of ln of x is 1 over x, for x is greater than 0. Uh, that d dx, is, d dx of ln of u is du over u, where u, of course, cannot equal 0. So this is what I want to do here. I just want to start solving this using ln and just look at this. Thing. I'm going to say... I'm going to take ln of both sides. So I'm going to take ln of y is equal to ln of right x, right, this thing squared over the square root of x squared plus 1. All right? The rules with ln and using logs is the same as it is in the other rules of algebra, the other equality rules, is that if you take ln of one side, you have to take ln of the other. Now, hopefully you're sitting there going, why the hell would I want to do this at all, and, and what's the benefit here? Well, the benefit here is this, that we know that there are these laws, these properties of logarithms, and one of them says this, that if we take, this is the rule I'm applying right now, if I take ln of a over b, sorry, ln of a over b, I swear that's a b. Ln of a over b is the same as ln of a minus ln of b. And I did another video where I can prove that to you, but you can use this rule. This is accept an accepted rule. So I'm going to extend this out. So I'm going to say, you know what? I have ln of y, which we already agreed that we had, is ln of this top part, which is x minus 2 quantity squared, right? That's a. The b is this part at the bottom. So minus x squared plus 1, oh, sorry, sorry about that, let me do this right, ln of x squared plus 1, and if you don't mind, just because I know where I'm going next, I'm going to change this radical here, this square root radical, I can put this as, an, as a rational exponent, so I'm going to take that if you don't mind. Now, I haven't started uh, differentiating at all yet, I'm just trying to set myself up, and if you don't mind, I'm going to set myself up a little bit more, because there's this other rule here of uh, of logarithms, and that rule says this, that if we have ln of a to the power n, that that is equivalent of, ta of taking n ln of a. And if you see what's happening here, I'm just picking this piece up, I'm taking this n from here, and I'm just going to roll it back to here, and now it's like a, co it's a coefficient. So let's see if we can get to this. So now I guess what I'm going to do is this. This is what I want. You know what? Let me simplify out a little bit more. So I'm going to use this rule right here. And I'm going to roll this piece out to here. And I'm going to roll this piece out to here. So this is going to clear up those exponents a little bit. Everything else just gets rewritten. And I'm going to have ln of y, just rewriting this side, is equal to 2 ln of x minus 2. Minus this 1 half right here rolls back 1 half ln of x squared plus 1. Okay, so now I think I'm in a place where I can start to differentiate. So I'm going to differentiate here. So start to differentiate. And I would differentiate this this way. This is ln of u to me. So ln of u, go up here and it says, what are we going to do? It says we're going to take the derivative of u over u. So this is, to, I'm pretending this is ln of u. So I'm saying that... Well, the first derivative of y, that's what du is, the derivative, the first derivative of y is certainly, the, well, the first derivative of y. And it says over the function, and the function was y, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to take this as a constant multiplier right here, and it's, right? Now I'm going to use this rule, that it's, it's, if you look at it like this, it's like 1 over u. So here's my 1 over x minus 2. Right? That's this part right here. Let me show it to you. That's this part right here. 1 over u, right? Times du. Well, if you look at du, du is the derivative of the inside piece. And the derivative of this inside piece, the derivative of x minus 2, is just 1. I'm just going to put it there. 
so you can see it, but it, it didn't just disappear. This negative one half is this negative one half right here, right? The derivative of ln of u is one over u, so one over u is this part right here, which is x squared plus one times the derivative of the inside, and der the derivative of x squared plus 2 is just 2x, isn't it? So hopefully that's making some sense to you. Now what I'm going to do is this, right? This is 2 over x minus 2, isn't it? Times, look, this 2 right here and this 2 right here cancel, don't they? So this is just minus x, this x is this x right here, over, whoops, sorry, this is, let me put this minus where it belongs, this minus is here, minus x squared plus 1, right, is equal to the derivative of y over y. Now, hopefully you're still with me on this, this gets kind of weird. So it says, at the beginning of our instructions here, it says that we're supposed to differentiate. So we're supposed to find the derivative. Well, remember that the derivative is y prime. So we have the derivative here. There it is right there. If we multiply every this whole thing by y, well, y, these y's will cross out. And we'll get y prime is equal to y times 2 over x minus 2 minus x over x squared plus 1 holy crap right but we're still differentiating this is where people get a little bit freaked out by it but this is where i think it actually gets good i think let me have okay so i gave you a break and i went back and i just did this little bit of math myself so this is what i did here i looked at the very beginning of our problem and found that y is defined as this so i'm just going to replace y with this value and if you look at the very beginning this was the thing here here I combined these two things, right? So I have a common denominator of this times this. So I multiplied this side by x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. I multiplied this side by x minus 2 over x minus 2. When I did all that math, I got these pieces right here. I combined these pieces to get this. So simplified this Dun, 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 dun. Simplified, this, you guys, is this. Okay? Now, if you're sitting there going, this is really difficult, this is calculus, right? So you can do this. This is not supposed to be easy, so I hope that you're hanging in there. And hopefully you can see some stuff starting to pan out for us here. And, and as we finish this problem, believe it or not, we are so close to being done. There we have y prime is equal to this. Look, we have this here squared, but here we have it to the first power. So this just gives us x minus 2 at the top, right, over, right, over x squared plus 1 to the 1 half down here. You see why I'm changing this. I'm just converting this to that, right, times this thing right here. And the top actually factors out, I think. That, no, it doesn't factor out. I thought it was going to factor out x squared plus 2x plus 2 all over. Look, this canceled out, didn't it? And this thing right here is this to the first power, right? But look, I'm going to multiply it by 1 half power. I'm going to use that x to the m times x to the n is equal to, the, is equal to x to the m plus n rule of exponents. So if you don't mind, I'm going to rewrite this here as instead of this as the first power, I'm going to write it as a 2 over 2 power. You'll see why. Because when I multiply this times this piece here, I'll get, right, I'm going to get this x squared plus 1 to the 2 over 2 power. We're actually done, and you'll see how in a second. There's nothing I can do with this. I'm not going to do this expansion. There's no reason to do it. So y prime is equal to x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 all over. And look, when you multiply these things, 1 half power plus 2 half power is x squared plus 1 to the 3 halves power. I know this is a pain, and I'm, I'm so worried that you're sitting there going, you know what, I should have just used the quotient rule. Try it. Believe it or not, this was expeditious. So, okay, you guys, hang in there. If you're not already subscribed, please do, and I look forward to your comments.